Hey, what's up? Back again. First bass note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And hey, what's up? It's your boy MB. I think I'm forming the video here to teach you things that I understand. You remember I told you before that the before the Audio 8 which has achieved king status. This is the wave of the future. Uh, welcome to tomorrow, we are here. Because you can use a Neo motor and get far, a far stronger magnetic field than you can with a ferrite motor. And I'm gonna give you a little demonstration. Here I have a bolt, a nut, a nut. And I'm gonna use it with its wide surface area at the widest point and put it against the top plate and the magnet on a ferrite motor. I'm gonna use, first I'm gonna use the DB drive, G7. And you see, boom, that's against the motor. Put it on this wider surface. And I can pull it off easy with the finger. Even if I put it on the top plate, wide, narrow, it's easy for me to pull it back off. Now the top plate is used to focus the strength of the magnet top plate is used to focus the strength of the magnets. The bottom plate is used to bring the polarity of the magnet structure up to where the top plate, so you have a north and south, so the divorce coil can respond to it. It's based on the divorce coil can respond to it as power is applied to the coil. Now, the strength of the magnets are focused with the top plate to create the magnetic field. So in actuality, I wish I had some kind of meter to measure it, and I might get that here in the future. Well, the, the magnetic strength of the magnet itself is not as strong as when you go to the plate. You hear that? Now watch when I get the top plate. Much more aggression than when I put it, see, not, and you can, you barely hear it. All right, so you can see that the strength is focused here. And it's not just on the G7. It's even if you use, say, another King, DC Audio. You can see it's stronger. It's much, you can see the, my hand. Maybe you can see the muscles in my hand flex as I have to pull off the top plate and not so much pulling off the motor structure. And if you put it here, when you get closer to the top plate, the top plate to pull it. All right. Whether they use a ceramic, term, uh, ceramic magnets or uh, whatever grade they use, ferrite, whatever whatever crown they use, you can see that it's a certain strength that's stronger at the top plate than in the magnet itself because you're focusing energy. Well, now let's look at this boy, which has the smallest cone area of all. And this is where cone area might not necessarily be, cone area might be king because X max, which he equals, Everyone else, it's not, I think 20 millimeters. But then magnetic force, the BL is considerably higher because you're using a, a Neo magnet. Now, I want you to see all this magnet structure to, for your focus with your top plate, okay? The top plate, there's a top plate as well on the Euphoria Audio. It's right here. This is the top plate. This little small, narrow band is the top plate. This is the magnetic structure. This is the Neo motor. This, this right here, this little piece. This is the back plate. I wish I knew how I look on the inside, but this is the back plate. And it's got vents that are far larger than the coil. Because the coil on this joker, let me see. The coil on this joker is only two inches. So this is don't this is not cooling the gap. This is just cooling the back side of the Neo the magnet. Now I'm gonna let you see how strong it is. There's no strength on this black plate here. Same same test, we gotta be careful. You see, you can barely hear it pop. Now I'm gonna put it as wide as point, it did it, <laughs> up on the, the, the Neo magnet itself. Now watch, I can't pull it off. I cannot pull it off. <sighs> 
And if you look up Neo Magnus, you'll see that they measure this stuff. These Neo Magnus, they measure it by pounds. Pounds to get it. The magnetic strength can be measured in pounds. So this smaller magnetic structure is equivalent to a magnetic structure, say, like this or like this here, and far, and far more. In fact, as you move it up toward the top plate where you focus the energy, the top plate here, as you, up here, where you focus the energy of the magnet closer, it gets even harder to pull off. Even if you limit the surface area of the magnet, you're not, you can see my hand flexing. You're not pulling it off. The only way you can get it off is to uh, slide it down to the non magnetized side and you'll be able to pull it off. And this is a very small uh, piece of Neo here. But that, that does not belie its strength. So the advantages are significantly more strength in the gap for more force, even though we're using. A smaller diaphragm so you can use neo because remember he does a 140 at 35 and i believe it can get lower in a two and a half cube box i'm going to do some extensive testing now so i'm put to put these back inside the vehicle but i believe he can get that 140 at a much lower note as well we're going to do some extensive testing and when i'm able to find where he could do it at, uh i'll be sure to post that video but this is the future it's significantly lighter it can go in places that big ferrite motors can't go in. This is the future. I don't want you to think about the Euphoria Audio in my truck setup because I have plenty of room. I can run ferrite, I need But let's say you have a Corvette. Let's say you have a Tesla with weight savings. Instead of putting 30 plus pound drivers inside your vehicle, you can put something that weighs half that, 12 pounds. What? Yeah, less than half that actually. 12 pounds altogether. And have the same force. The same force. In the future, I think Euphoria Audio is going to. This is the first fur rate because the, the technology is expensive. It is expensive. But you're able to gain the same amount of force that you would use with a, motor, with a larger ferrite magnet. If you was just to increase the diaphragm, say give it an 8 inch cutout. Or a seven and a half inch cut out. What's so amazing about this for audio? He fits on the seat of any truck. Designed operating a small box volume. And his cone area is significantly smaller than any of the kings. And yet he's still able to generate 140 pounds, 140 dB of sound pressure at 35 hertz with two eights. And a seven and an eighth cutout. Pound for pound, does he have an equal? There's something for you to think about. There's something for you to think about. And I, and I know why well, I feel that eights are the most versatile driver out. They can go anywhere. You can get multiples and train, achieve the same corner of larger, uh, 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 larger drivers. However, it, it does make sense just to use larger driver. But if you are really, really space limited, the new Broncos, uh, Challenger vehicles, Mustangs, you can't get past the fact of how much strength you're going to have, how much sound you're going to have with such a small driver it belies its strength and its sound quality and accuracy with that two inch voice core it's amazing it's amazing did you see the video where i had it doing 138 at 28 hertz 138 at it was a 28 yeah 138 or one, no 138 at 36 hertz two of these on music The only website to listen on my website ever sell, you can get them from me, 404-694-4818, or you can click and buy my website, which will be listed in the video description. Welcome to the future, fellas. Welcome to the future.
Be the first. Peace.